Today, we are discussing the gut-brain connection. Just a minute, I'll make you understand how nutrition affects your mood and mental health. Now, our wellness expert here today with us, uh, she's a nutrition expert, Uju Onwara. Now, she's passionate about guiding people to make sustainable, healthy uh, food choices with the available foods around us. You are welcome here, Uju. Thank you very Good much. You. It's a pleasure got to be here. Got, got, got brain connection. Yes. We're talking about how our mental state or mental health and what we put in our bodies by way of what we eat. Am yeah. I correct? Yes. What's the relationship? <clears throat> okay, so I think um, in answer to your question, it's best to think of your brain <coughs> like a car. You know, um, a car it's running. But the only difference is, that, of course, a, a typical car has to stop, you know, at some point. Mm -hmm. But your brain is literally, you know, working 24-7, even yeah. when you are asleep. Yeah. Now, so if you're thinking of your um, brain like a car, it then means that it needs a fuel, yeah. right? It yeah. needs a fuel to function. And that fuel, it's food. Mm. Yes. Now, um, in, 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 which was, in thinking about it now, there are more like higher grades of fuel or mm -hmm. lower grades of fuel and yeah. all of that. Lead, unleaded. Okay, well, something like oil. that, mm -hmm. yeah. So how are you fueling your body or the kind of fuel you put it in helps your brain, you know, um, healthy. And if your brain is healthy, it also helps you do something we call um, in my profession, oxidative stress and inflammation. Okay. Now, just not to sound too much, you know, with so much jargon late. and all of that, <laughs> but what it actually does is with all of, um, when you don't have oxidative um, stress and inflammation, you feel better. Mm. Your, your mood is, you're happier. Happier. Mm. Yes. It's kind of an evolving field in nutrition, but then um, there has been so many studies linking, you know, nutrition, food, what you are able to eat and, and how it impacts sick. your mental health. So we have to put good stuff inside our body. Junk food and the rest might not be the best, yes? Nah, <laughs> not really. However, what if I say that when I take chocolate, even if it's regarded as junk, I feel really happy. I love the feeling. It's like mm. a small semi-drug. Okay. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because it does lift my mood. Okay, so... The thing is that um, you're very right, but this is it here. It's not, I'm not going to use the word it's a bad thing, but consistently eating chocolate to feel better is when it becomes a bad thing. Mm. You get, I'm not going to say that eating chocolate is bad, mm. but consistently doing it. So now, what do you feel when you eat chocolate? Or for some people, even ice cream and yeah. all of that, they feel good. It's... A, what we call a rush, mm. a rush that comes from eating an ultra processed food mm. because it's high in sugar, because it's high in fat. Mm. So that, there's a rush, it's, and that rush makes you feel better. Mm. But, and, but if you're consistently doing this, it's actually going to get to a point, it's doing the reverse mm. of what you are eating it for. But if it's just for, oh, maybe a regular day, just some, yeah, I'm craving this, I'm not feeling yeah. so good, I crave, it's just going to give you a rush and you feel good. Okay. But uh, I'm not going to advise that it's something that, as an individual, you're consistently, or it's a habit to okay. do it. Yeah, so then there is, um, my habit is, this is definitely a habit. Every single morning, I'm, I, I have coffee at a very specific time in the morning. Okay. Um, which is just before our daily post-production post meeting, because... Sometimes I can't stand. <laughs> but I take plenty of coffee every single day. Is that a bad thing? So what do you call plenty? Is it like a cup? Uh, consistently a cup every day, yes. Uh, it's not bad, actually. If oh, it's just good. coffee, um, not too much sugar. Coffee plenty, is actually good. Plenty of sugar. Uh, no, no, that is where it's bad. Uh, you could cut down on the sugar a bit, mm -hmm. right? Um, also use... Uh, when, if you're, do you love to use milk? Yeah, lots of it. Uh, full cream? Full cream. Okay, full cream, it's not bad. That is in itself, if, since you look to be in good shape. Sorry, so can you say that again for our director to hear? Mr. Shagun. You, you seem to be in good shape. <laughs> so, but, um, <laughs> coffee in itself is not bad. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, like I said, it's just one cup you're taking okay. a day. So that's yeah. really safe. So what can we right. put inside our bodies that is beneficial for our mental health? Okay, 
So general answer, I'm just going to say a healthy diet. But then it's like, what's a healthy yeah, diet, right? It? So um, the whole aim of what you're going to eat, what we have to eat as an individual to fuel our body rightly, is having a combination of foods, fruit, foods that are healthy in vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. Particularly antioxidants like that, um, you know, a chemical. I mentioned oxid, um, mm -hmm. inflammation earlier yeah, and oxidative yeah. stress and all of that. So antioxidants actually help the brain. Um, even the body generally prevent this. Okay. Now, um, it's all about eating more of whole foods. What I tell clients and people generally is eat foods more like straight from the farm. Oh, okay. I, I'm using the word straight up from the farm because it's more like food that has not gone through so processing. much processing, mm -hmm. right? Rice from the farm, rice is from the farm. Okay. Yam is from the farm. Well, thank Your plantain is from the farm. Because for a minute right? there, I thought you were asking us to go vegetarian. No! I'll tell you something about being vegetarian. Six years ago, <laughs> I tried going vegetarian. My body actually broke down. Oh, I went vegetarian for sorry. two weeks. But my body was like, Oga, Oga, come, 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 stop, stop, stop. This thing that you're doing, we can't, we can't continue like this. We want meat. <laughs> No, 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 please. So, it, vegeta being a vegetarian is not in itself bad, mm -hmm. but then, of course, to, um, um, there are a lot of um, back, um, sides, back sides to you know, being a vegetarian, and it has to be done, guided properly oh. by a nutritionist. So that's like the whole stuff on its own. But um, in itself, it's more like a combination of healthy diets. You need your protein. Your body needs protein. Right, you need your fruits and vegetables particularly, I know, but um, I, I, I don't want to throw so much emphasis on this, but fruits and vegetables are so, more, so important because that is the only class of food mm -hmm. that you can get vitamins and minerals. Oh, wow. Yeah, your carbohydrate sources like your rice, your potato, your yam and all of those things, your meats, all of those things, they don't give you, you can't compare the level of vitamins and minerals it, that are contained in it. Mm -hmm. That when you're talking about rich sources of vitamins and minerals, it's majorly in fruits and vegetables. And that's very important for your brain, mm. for your body generally. Mm. So if I was going to start with this project, this uh, eating healthy for my mental um, state, how do I get started? What do I need to do first off starting today? Okay, so the first thing you need to do is intentionally eaten right every single day um, aside from your normal rice your um, beans and all of this food that we normally eat do I need it's, a timetable or stuff do I need to consciously mm, alert myself that this um, is that and that? food timing in itself is like a very big deal right but um, I think food timing it's more like um, for people who probably have medical conditions okay. right but for an average healthy person um, you mustn't necessarily time your food in itself more like but it's more or less what you're eating, not like when you're eating it per se, but wow. what you're eating. Would you, you and I have to have plenty of talk because I want to get <laughs> this thing down to a T. I really need to get my nutrition up because I want my mental state to be like bliss. But thank you very much, you do, for thank coming you. through. Always a pleasure to have you here, nerdy thank girl. You. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you. next week we pick another topic and of course you'll be here to enlighten us, wouldn't you? I'll be glad to be. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for staying tuned. Yeah. Do keep on to this channel because we've got more coming away inside of Wake Up Nigeria.